Hey everyone, it's Mama Does Nails and welcome back to my channel guys. How are you all doing? I hope you're all having an amazing day and I just hope this video finds you well and all your family blessed so you can watch this video and just enjoy it. So today I'm going to be using some Born Pretty products guys. I am winging this voiceover because basically I am still trying to just work things out with this new way I'm trying to record. So this is from memory of literally what I've just done. So I've got my finger ready. I found a tip for it. Now what I did do on the base of the practice finger I had put some base coat down, cured it for 60 seconds, and she was just there waiting. Now, in that nail tip, I went in with some no wipe top coat. Because when we do that Femi Beauty method and work in that way, we have to remember that um, that's going to be the front. So even though it's the first thing you're doing, but it's literally the last thing you normally do if you work the other way around. So I normally like to use top coat especially no wipe top coat with my glitters, if I am going to do it that way. That's what I did. Now, shout out to my nail sister, Nails by Envy, because that glitter I got from Envy. And yeah, it glows. It glows. It's so stunning. I did try to get a little shot of it. So please stay tuned till the end. And hopefully you'll be able to see a bit of glow. But I went into my younger son's room because he's the vampire in the house. He's got the darkest room in the house. Like, I mean, outside doesn't even get as dark as his bedroom can. But anywho, so that's what I did. So I put the glitter down and I did a flash cure, literally 10 seconds because I don't want that nail to start curing and, you know, changing size, which it still did a little bit because I did put the base coat the whole way. I should have just, but it was okay. It was only a little tiny little bit. So, but just to have that in mind because the, you know, the tips can shrink inside the lamp. So after that, I got my um, Aurora non-stick hand extension gel. Now that's in the number NSG22. Yes, NSG22. And it's a beautiful Aurora color. As you can see, it's like the sea. It's like literally the sea. But the, the weirdest thing is that when you start to get it out, it just looks clear. Absolutely cool. So I use this for my tip. For my, not, not my tip, for my base, this is the colour of my base, get it out. Now, I just nearly forgot, because in the glitter, you saw me using a dotting tool and just doing some swirls. I've never tried that before, but I love it, and I'm definitely going to try it again. So, while the top coat and the glitter was still wet, before I put it in the lamp to flash cure, I just used the dotting tool and just made some shapes. I wasn't really sure if you could see it, but afterwards... I could see it so I'm gonna definitely do it again um so yeah so anyway fast forward from all of that and I hope I have already started to put the non um stick extension gel in that nail because I already speak fast so I hope it's all in tally but I realize you're just watching I may play a little bit of music I'm not really sure but this um voiceover really is just I guess explaining what you're visually going to be watching so it's not bad so anyway after I did that I cured I put it on the nail and everything and I cured for full 60 seconds now I made sure that the extension gel was fully inside the nail there was nothing seeping from the sides I mean if you do it just means you've got some work to do after the nail cures but if you want to work smarter and not harder Try and just clean as you go along. So I did that. I flashed. No, I didn't. I cured it fully for 60 seconds. It sounded like I was going to swear. And even my tongue sounded like it wanted to swear. I don't know what that's about because I don't feel like swearing. Um. So anyway, we did that. Now, when I got the nail out of the lamp, I didn't top coat or anything. I just buffed the surface lightly. I didn't use the rough side of the buffer, just the smoother side. And that's just to get a nice surface. So now on top of that surface, I was going to use, um, well, I did use the extension gel in milky white. Now, I don't know if you have ever tried this silicone because it's a 3D stamping, but it's a silicone mat. 
I'm just going to get it out. Now I do show you this in the video, but basically it's just, it's like a floppy, it's floppy. It's, uh, and it has um, designs and patterns on there, um, very embossed, which is really good. So since my nail sister Envy sent this to me, I've not had a chance to use it, but I'm telling you, poly gel's too sticky, acrylic, I've not tried it, I can't even think about it. I think acrylic could work, but I'm not really sure. But the best, the best for me has been the non-stick extension gel, guys. So if you have this 3D stamper, get it out. And if you have some of this, use it. Doesn't matter what color you have, because afterwards you can still go, uh, uh, you know, and do some more art. So another thing I just wanted to talk about is... I don't know what you call these, the shape cutters. They're just, I don't know. What comes to my mind is pizza car. I don't know why, maybe because of the shape. But anyway, I bought these right at the beginning of my nail journey. And because it was in Shane, it was like 50p. Um, I can't remember where the other two are. But I was sitting here today and I was like doing this nail after I put the white down. Now, before I used the stamper, I was thinking, well, do I want it like in that sort of square? And I was like, no. I want a smile line. Then I remembered this. So I paused the video and I went searching. Whew. I don't even know where it was. I literally looked nearly in 12 to 15 drawers before I found it. And I was just like, yes, because I know everyone has one of these and not everybody uses it. But for the non-stick gel, this was perfect. Now, Maybe because it wasn't thick enough, or maybe it's because I was doing it wrong. I don't know, but I was okay. Um, I was able to cut out my shape. So I had a perfect smile line. And again, using this extension gel, because it's non-stick, it's just a winner. Um, and, you know, to just neaten up everything, I just got my arrow tool and I just took off the little Alexis. And when the nail cured, I was able to file that little bit off anyway and smooth the surface. So we were winning. But yeah, if you have this, get it out, guys. It's really good for this extension gel and the mats. So anyway, let me just catch up with myself and try to remember where I am. So I should have hopefully stamped that um, Milky White extension gel. Now, I'm going to bring it right up close to the camera, like that close. You can see it's so effective. I mean, I was not putting a lot of pressure down. I literally put it on the surface and, you know, just like I just pressed gently because I know the gel's wet and too much pressure. It's probably just going to go like that. And we didn't want a banana split. No, we didn't. So it was just a gentle pressure and then I cured it. Now I did do a full cure. This is a non-stick um, extension gel. And when I use chrome or sometimes pigments, I do use a non-stick surface. So I knew this was gonna work because I have tried it before just you know messing around. So I got four beautiful chromes out and it, this is just a demo. This is just really, I nailed it just to show you all the different things you can do because it's really handy. Now, I didn't really, what did I do today? I didn't, I didn't use anything. I used my hand um, to, you know, smooth it all out under the nail, at the top of the nail, I used my hand. We used the cheese cutter, pizza cutter. We've used um, some chrome. So, you know, you can be really, really creative with this stuff. So that's all done. And I should have chromed everything on top now. And I was using different colors just to see, but trying to stay within my, you know, Aurora theme of the nail. Um, and I'm just looking at it right now and I'm thinking this is so beautiful. Now, don't forget to top coat your bum side of the nail because this is so iridescent and a little see-through. So you're gonna want that crystal clarity to come through and you have to top coat the bottom side for that to happen. Otherwise you won't see the full love that you could feel for the nail. So anyway, 
we've done that and then I'm thinking now okay what do I want to do so then I remembered I got some they're like iridescent nail stripes stickers and I got them from Born Pretty actually got them myself um that wasn't in PR and I just went around the smile line because I was thinking should I use a liner but I thought no we're keeping this like a you know it's kind of like a futuristic nail because nothing about it is you know the normal stuff that we do you know acrylic or whether it's gel or whatever we use our hands I can't even remember if I used a brush anywho so I used that sticker and it's so stretchy now I've never tried to stretch it I don't know why I thought it was more like a paper but it was really stretchy so that was good so I was able to just bring it right around the smile line and not have to cut two halves fantastico so that's what we did made sure it was really down and then I went in with my no wipe top coat now I did start from the bottom of the nail because sometimes you know with the chrome you don't want to rub around too much so I did start at the bottom of the nail and worked my way up to the top made sure everything was nice and top coated and then I did a full cure for 60 seconds how beautiful is the nail like guys like it is stunning so now I'm just like okay what next what next what next yeah bling I mean how can I not have bling the nail now looked like it needed bling because I'm finishing off the look because I have that smile line I've kind of built the nail up a little bit now to cover that whole thing you know and just make it look like this set that you know you know the nail design is supposed to be I remember I had this little bow and this brings a little white into my set to match the smile line and that little heart it's it's like a it's like a purple or oh, yeah it's like a purple so I can see purple the nails here you can see you can see the purple you know there's purple in there so I knew that was gonna match so then I got some little rhinestones out um, some purple ones and the pearly white ones that you get like I think they're like mermaid stones um, and they're really nice um, so that's the blink that was all I did I worked around the smile line I wanted that bow in the middle because it's got a little heart which is so super cute and then I thought I don't want to use silver I don't want to use gold and I remember Envy had sent me some black caviar beads so we got those out and um, this is what I love about freestyling because literally as I'm doing the nail something comes into my mind that gets added that gets added and then we build a set literally that's how it should be so I love that CC creative control I love it so yeah the the, the black caviar beads for me worked perfectly because it gave that that dark element that I needed that I was looking for but I didn't want to use black like to draw black or do black lines and yeah I absolutely love this set this was so simple so beginner friendly you can do whatever I mean because of what I did to the nail I couldn't cover the whole nail it's afterwards I thought what are you doing but I will definitely do most likely a whole set using this and um yeah, we're just going to do something fun. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Because if I do, what's the point in watching? You won't want to watch. No. Um, I'm definitely thinking pigment. So something bright, something loud. So again, I would use the white. Now, I have done a swatch where I have put the extension gel on the whole nail. You know, so like, so like you did a whole application. And then I put that on top. And then I cured it. You can do that too. So now your your nail has a whole embossed look. And it looks so stunning in chrome. So imagine doing a full chrome nail. I think we'll do that next time. I might film that tomorrow. Let's see. I'm going to see um, in the comments what you let me know. And even if no one even says it, I probably still will do it. Because chrome nails are in right now. So this will be perfect. It's actually just easy because you have you know, an embossed look, you could just literally do that on three nails. On the other two nails, you could just put something simple or nothing. And, you know, you're just fancy and you're just ready to go. So that's literally all that we did there. And as I said, you know, it is very beginner friendly. 
Um, the glitter does glow. I, like I said, I did try to get you a nice little shot. I hope it transcends in the video, but it is daytime, so there's only so much a vampire's room can do, right? But um, definitely, I'm going to try and film a short tonight when it gets dark. And I'll go back to his room anyway, because it should be darker anyway, um, because there's no light coming from the stairs and, and all of that good stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial. Um, and if you have any of these items, get it out, play with it. But just this is just a reminder because I know everyone's got this. This was going around on Shen. You know, I know Femi Beauty had done a video where she used it. But I think it's really cool. So if you don't like stamping with inks, stamp with your 3D gel and your 3D stamper. Amazing. Anyway, guys, I am going to love you and leave you. That's the end of the video. I'm just going to let the rest of the video play out. I'm going to play some music and I love you all. So please keep your bells on so you can catch me in the next one. I am Mama Does Nails and I am out. The kids have got teacher strike day today and I've got one that's not feeling too well. So I've got both of them indoors right now. So... Yeah, the one that's not feeling too well is sleeping. The other one with the big S mouth ever, middle child. He's downstairs. So, yeah. Anywho, guys, I love you. Take care. Have an amazing day and keep those bells on. And also, if you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel. Yes, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Anyway, I'm going. 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 I love you. Bye.